This is a replay of the shake alert warning initiated from last Friday's early morning earthquake. Within seconds, it calculated the approximate magnitude of the quake at a 4.4. Not bad. A more detailed analysis later put it at a 4.6. The distance between Monroe and Seattle is only about 30 miles. Shake Alert originally calculated the time it took for mild shaking to reach the city at about four seconds. It turned out to be closer to eight. But much further away in Olympia, the actual time it took for the red shake line to reach that city was closer to 23 seconds, more accurate. But this display is also based on computer modeling that makes certain assumptions. This is a real time number. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is real. I made the figure myself. This uses observational data and no models go into it. Paul Bowden is the manager of the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network run out of the University of Washington. The lines up on the screen, part of his analysis of the Shake Alert warning. Earthquake, earthquake. Shake Alert is new, still in testing at various stages in the three states along the West Coast. Frankly, the network is a bit thin in that particular area. The network is made up of hundreds of seismometers around the state. California's network is more mature. Washington still needs about another 300. It's about halfway there. It will be faster and, and, uh, and even more reliable uh, when, it's, when it's fully deployed. Like dots that make up a TV picture, more seismometers mean higher resolution. For viewers, that means a sharper picture on the TV. For scientists, it will make shake alert more accurate. Right now, it's being used to places like water utilities. Lake Whatcom Water and Sewer is installing a system now. A warning ahead of the arrival of bad shaking could automatically close valves and protect precious water from draining away through broken pipes. Ready? And in about a year, a phone app here in Washington State. Maximilian Dixon is with the State Emergency Management Division. Having education training outreach on what that rollout is, how people can get alerts, what shake alert is, and what protective actions to take once they receive an alert. Now, you'll recall a few weeks ago in some serious earthquakes in California, one to 7.1, people in Los Angeles who have the phone app, it is available down there, complained that they did not receive an alert. There was a reason for that. The quakes were pretty far away and the shaking was not expected to be enough to warrant an alert going off in the LA metro area. But that, again, is also a test. They are ahead of us here. We will have it here and they will be building those lessons learned into our app. Okay. Some great information on that. Thank you.